Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to properly thread an object, create a countersink, and also have the threads exit the countersink appropriately. All right, let's hop right to it. So first things first, let's go ahead and create a cylinder. Put it on the top plane. Doesn't really matter, but it's what we'll use. Okay. All right, we're going to use the whole command. And the hole is going to be about 20 millimeters. Doesn't really matter. Okay. And I want the hole to basically go all the way through. So distance wise, I want to go to all. Click OK. Actually, let's uh, look at some parameters here. I want the hole tap to be simple. Tap type simple. Drill point flat. Okay. Now I click OK. All right. So let's go ahead and use the thread command. All right. Now here's where it gets tricky. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and have the offset be 0.5. Okay. And the reason is the offset has to be below this edge so we can have a perfect circle. It's not, the circle will be broken up and we won't be able to create a correct camphor. All right, click okay. Now, actually let's go back to the thread command. We want to edit that because we want it to go all the way through. So, we want the length of it. We can just go ahead and select the bottom. Click OK. All right, it's all the way through. All right. I'm going to show you a little tip at the bottom as well, because if you can see, this is not a perfect circle. All right, let's grab the camfer, uh, chamfer command. All right. Let's drag it down. You can set it to whatever you want. In this case, we'll make it about, let's make it three millimeters. All right, click OK. All right, so there's your countersink. But as you can see, now the threads properly exit the countersink and it will actually be able to uh, use this in a 3D to, uh, printer. <clears throat> now let's look at the bottom and I'll show you what I meant before. We'll use the chamfer tool, select the bottom. And as you can see, it doesn't completely uh, go around the actual edges. So I can't really chamfer this. So to correct this, let's go back to the thread command. All right. And let's just basically take off this portion right here. So we'll just make it 87 millimeters. That way it'll be slightly below the edge and give it a full circle. All right. Now, just use the chamfer command again and let's drag it and make it about three millimeters as well. And click OK. And there you have it. OK. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial series. I'll see you in the next video.